The following paid program does not necessarily reflect the views of this station, its staff, or Clear Channel Media and Entertainment. It's time to enter the world of real estate in Oahu with Hawaii's only true real estate radio show, the Team Lally Real Estate Show. Grab a pen and get ready to take notes. For the next full hour, Hawaii's premier real estate leader, Adrienne Lally and Attilio Leonardi will bring you the latest in real estate news and real-world strategies on how they can guarantee to sell your home at a price and deadline you agree to, or they'll buy it. Now, here are your hosts, Adrian and Attilio. Welcome to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold program, or we'll buy it. If you have any real estate questions, you can reach us at 799 Nine five nine six. That's seven nine 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 five nine six. Or on the web at teamlally dot com, and that's L A L L Y. Well, hey everybody, this is the Tilly. I was hanging out with the uh, family. We were in Globe, Arizona. Anyway, we were walking down the street, main the main street, and this lady came up to me, started asking me a bunch of tax and legal questions, and I said, "Hey, those are great questions. Highly recommend you seek the appropriate licensed professional." And then I said, "But mom." What other questions do you have? So if you hear anything on the show, sounds like tax advice, they should, you know, go see a CPA, maybe go visit an H&R Block. If you hear anything on the show, sounds like legal advice. Adrian, who should they run that by? They should run it by the attorneys with heart, Kane and Heron. Kane and Heron. They're awesome. Check them out at KaneandHeron.com. All right. So today's quotes that we have are about smiling. Smiling? Yes. It's a smile quote day. What if you're grouchy and grumpy and you don't want to smile? Well, you're going to have to because a smile is happiness you'll find right under your nose. What if right under your nose is a mustache? <laughs> well, you could still smile. All right, so I was What if you have a milk mustache? You could still smile with is your milk mustache. Is that still happiness? Yeah. I you know, I think a uh, chocolate milk mustache is That's, happiness. That is the best. All right, so I was smiling yesterday. I am smiling today. Mm -hmm. And I will smile tomorrow simply because life is too short to cry for anything. I thought maybe you had a horrible facial tick that you couldn't stop and your muscles were just stuck in that position. Or like the could, Joker. Or, or it could be that. Like the Joker. You know, he was dipped in a big chemical bath mm -hmm. and his face was stuck in a permanent smile. All right, so remember, even though the outside world might be raining, if you keep on smiling, the sun will soon show its face, and smile back at you. Well, I thought it was if you keep on smiling while it's raining, you might drown because <laughs> your mouth is open. So you, negative. Well, you, could keep, you could keep your <laughs> mouth closed while you smile. Oh, yeah, with the teeth? You know, I have this comment. I see people that smile and they don't show the teeth. And I'm thinking, that's not a real smile. Or maybe they got screwed up teeth. That, that could be the case. That could be. It's for cause for deep thoughts. Deep thoughts by Atilio Leonardi. Joey was smiling, but he wasn't showing his teeth. I wonder if he's got messed up teeth. All right, and this is the last one. Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile, but sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. You know, the, I think what makes me smile is the the author of that quote. <laughs> Dick Nuck Kong. Who is that? <laughs> Must be Vietnamese. All right, so uh, I guess while we're while we're waiting for our our caller from Oh Gabe Ame from Hawaii VA Loans is on the line to give us our VA tip of the day. Yes, Adrian and Tilio. Yes, how you doing? Always doing great. So doing what's great. what is that tip of the tip of the week? Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, this is not just a VA tip of the week. It's also a uh, general when qualifying for a home loan tip. So. There's a difference between getting pre-qualified and pre-approved. Okay. And the main thing is with getting pre-qualified, you're just giving the loan officer, and probably over the phone, simple information like uh, current address, your full legal name, mm -hmm. uh, who you're employed by, the amount of money you make, uh, how long you've been working there, as well as information about um, your financial assets, how much is your check-in, account, uh, and then finally, we have to pull credit, uh, not just to get your credit score, but to get your liabilities from uh, the credit report that has what you pay monthly and your debt obligation. Mm -hmm. So that's step one, and that process takes less than, it could take less than 15, 20 minutes over the phone, but getting pre-qualified is not the only step. The next step is actually get pre-approved, and 
as you know, a lot of uh, sellers are not going to accept your offer unless you have a pre-approval letter, okay? And in order to get a pre-approval letter, we actually have to collect your financial documents, like uh, tax returns, W-2s, bank statements, uh, pay stubs, and if you're active duty service member, LES statements. Mm -hmm. And we have to verify that, you know, what you stated, how much you make, who you're employed by, we can, we can verify that with the financial documents. So once we verify that and everything checks out, then we can send a pre-approval letter. So that's the difference between getting pre-qualified and pre-approved. Now, I, I know we can tell you from first hand, mm -hmm. Adrian, what do we do with them offers that come in with pre-qualifies, pre-qualifications? We warn our sellers and let them know that, you know, this buyer has not submitted their financial information. So um, it's likely that they, you know, they may not actually be approved for that yeah. amount. So And so be careful. And we actually will counter back and say, hey, you know, we're not going to open escrow unless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to see a pre-approval. See a pre-approval. So for the listeners, uh, you know, it's Tony Robbins says, to teach something, you got to create a relationship between what you know and what you don't know. So this is what we know. When you get an A in school, is that good? Yes, that's a, that's a good. So you get an A on the grade. report card, that's good. So pre-approval, both of the words pre-approval, pre-qualify, start with the word pre, one is approval. So A is, you get the A, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody <laughs> wants to be an A student. Q, if you get one Q on, the credit, on, your, on your report card, that means you got to quit school. You got you just, you got to go get your GED. That's Attilio Leonardi breaking it down for you right there. Breaking it down, making it simple. <laughs> so get pre-approved. So get that can, A, you students out there. Be an, the, student. be an A student. I'll be honest with you. If the, you know, there are sellers. We instruct our sellers. Don't even let people look at your home without a pre-approval. Sure. Pre-approval and uh, even proof of funds if they're going to be putting down you know, a significant amount of cash. Yeah. It's like exactly. where, where are those funds coming from? Yeah. They, they have to be verified. So if you're serious about buying a home, you should just do the pre-qual or do the pre-approval? Get the pre-approval. Get the pre-approval. Be, be, be prepared. Be an honor student in buying a home. There you go. You know what they say about the, 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 the nerds, right? Be a nerd and get good grades. Nerds rule the world. Nerds get pre-approved. Nerds get pre-approved. So be <laughs> a buying home buying nerd. And to do that, they can uh, give, give Gabe and Hawaii VA Loans a, a call. Yep, they always can call us at 808-792-4251, 792-4251, or visit us online at hawaiidaloans.com. You know, I like that you guys have the classes. You got, uh, you can, there's a downloadable ebook. is that right? Yep, we have a lot of resources on our website, so if you just want to get information, you don't want to get hassled by a salesperson, just go to our website, you can find a lot of information, and when you're ready to take the next step, you can let us know. You know, even if you like cartoons, there's V.A. Joe. That's right. V.A. Joe. Yeah, he, Joe. Down. He, he, he keeps it simple. Yep. It's V.A. Joe. All right. Thank you so much, Gabe. Have a good weekend. You too. All right. So I'm not sure if we have uh, Duke on the line with his – no, he's not called in yet. But we were just talking with, in case you're in a veteran state of mind, Gabe Ame from Hawaii V.A. Loans. You know, every year they do the V.A. games. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is a fundraiser. I think this year they raised something like thirty-six thousand dollars to go towards nonprofits to help right local. here in our community, local communities. Yes, local Hawaii charities. So if you're in the neighborhood, uh, they are located above Taco Del Mar. Over in Kapolei. In Kapolei, in the Home Depot parking lot, mm -hmm. and popping them on them during the day, uh, weekday, Monday through Friday. They're probably there, but I don't know, maybe like nine to five, nine to four, maybe. And uh, if not, you know, go to their website, hawaiivaloans.com. That's hawaiivaloans.com. Or give them a call, 792-4251. What's that number, Adrian? 792-4251. These are awesome people. They got an awesome team, and we highly recommend you work with them. Very low-key. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we have a very special guest that will be joining us. to Share information yeah. that's going to change your life Forever. forever. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar. 
It's your friend Sean Hannity, and I can tell you firsthand from moving across this great country that bad advice from your real estate agent can cost you time and a whole lot of money. You, however, have a great team of great Americans right there in your backyard that puts their money where their mouths are and takes the stress out of selling a home. I'm talking about Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardi of Team Lally at Keller Williams Realty. They have a system for attracting buyers that's so effective they can guarantee to sell your home at a price and a deadline that you agree to or will have it bought for cash. Now, how can they do this? Simple. The average realtor sells less than 10 homes a year and attracts a handful of buyers a month. Now, Adrian and Attilio spend thousands of dollars every month to attract hundreds of buyers and help sell your home for 18% more money than the traditional agent. Now, they are so confident that you'll be happy, they also offer you a one-day listing agreement. Now, if they don't live up to their guarantees, they let you out of the contract. No questions asked. Adrian and Atilios outsell 99% of the agents in Hawaii by targeting both local and out-of-state buyers. Call the agents that I personally recommend. That's Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardi of Team Lally at Keller Williams Realty at 799-9596. That's 799-9596. Or online at GuaranteedSale.com. Are you a veteran interested in purchasing a home? If so, you qualify for the great benefits allowed by the VA Home Loans Program. Benefits like no down payment required, reduced closing costs, and flexible qualifying guidelines. Hawaii VA Loans is Hawaii's VA loan specialist who can educate you on all these benefits and help you get on track with being pre-approved for a VA loan. For more information on how you can tap into this great resource, go to hawaiivaloans.com to download their free 24 page ebook as a special bonus after downloading the informative guide you'll be instructed on how you can earn a thousand dollar closing cost credit on your next home purchase so what are you waiting for get your free va loan ebook and earn a thousand dollar closing credit by going to hawaiivaloans.com or give them a call at 792-4251 that's 792-4251 We recommend Fidelity National Title Insurance Company for your next real estate transaction. Through its nationwide network of direct operations and agents, Fidelity National Title provides title insurance, underwriting, escrow, and closing services to consumers. Check them out at FidelityNationalTitle.com or FNTIC.com. Hi, I'm Adrian. And I'm Attilio. There are a lot of choices out there. It's important to make the right choice when it comes to a realtor. This client felt they made the right choice. We'd like to share their thoughts with you. I, I would say that Team Lolly is more professional. Uh, also, they are more thorough. They, they provide more than just uh, their services are excellent. They they, they they all provide you with other services. They keep you update, updated, let you know what's going on. I was never in, in the... I was never lost as far as knowing what went on, but every step of the way, they uh, kept in touch and uh, let me know what's going on. I, I would uh, have no problem referring them. When you're trying to find the best of the best, don't settle for an agent that's just like the rest. Pick a team that knows just what to do. From buying or selling, we work hard for you. Team Lolly, the best real estate in the island. If you're looking for an outstanding insurance agent that will personally help you during the moment of truth, we recommend Bradley Maruyama with Allstate Insurance. So, Atilio, what do you mean by the moment of truth? Well, the best insurance is the insurance you never have to use, but we know that's not how life works. So when life happens, you can count on Bradley and his team to exceed your expectations for your insurance needs. Keep in mind that when buying a home, the cost of home insurance should be taken into consideration. I trust Bradley with my own personal home, so you should give him a call. Call Bradley with Allstate Insurance at 591-8016. Welcome back. This is Adrian. And this is Attilio. And you're listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold program, or we'll buy it. No way. Yes way. Okay. And if you have any real estate questions, you can reach us at 799-9596 or on the web at teamlally.com. Hey, Adrian, did you know we have a new commercial? 
You mean the one with Barbara Corcoran from Shark Tank? That's the one. So tell our listeners how we met Barbara. Well, we were in Dallas a few months ago, and Barbara came to speak at an event that we were at. And by the way, she only takes a handful of speaking events a year, and she was actually booked for the year. But then she did agree to take one more, which was the one that we were that we were attending. You know what's cool about that is we got invited to a special meeting prior to the main speaking event, and we got to chat with her privately. This lady is awesome. So that meeting sparked a new partnership, which led to her endorsing us during the Shark Tank show. So watch for Barbara talking about us during one of the breaks. So a little bit about Barbara. Barbara, uh, so you know what she did? Crazy lady. She ponied up her own money and invested in 22 businesses. Wow. She's got a new book, Shark Tales, which takes you behind the scenes of her life and business and Shark Tank. Barbara is described, so this is the stuff on the internet, and, but we know, we know, we know we've got a chance to meet her, yeah. brash, blunt, bold, and courageous, and a brilliant identifier of opportunity and talent. We've met her personally, and she's a take-it-or-leave-it lady, a kind of here-I-am person. Hey, so check out our Facebook fan page, Team Lally Hawaii, to find out why Barbara Corcoran from Shark Tank loves Team Lally. You could also tune in every Friday at 8 p.m. Watch it live. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right, so... We have a, a guest here, uh, Kim Kim Green. Kim, are you there? I'm doing great. How are you, Akilio and Adrian? Doing great. Awesome. So, thank you for calling in. Oh, you're welcome. Thank Kim, you. tell us uh, tell us your story. Well, um, my wife Tony and I uh, own TK Green LLC Home Inspection, Hawaii Home Inspection, mm-hmm. and um, basically, I've been in the residential construction industry. Um, for 35 years at least, um, of five years um, in the United States Air Force. Um, and um, basically when I moved to Hawaii, I got introduced to the home inspection industry um, by buying a home. Mm-hmm. And and just with, uh, I, I was actually very, it's a very similar story to many of your clients, um, especially the veterans coming here from, the mainland or somewhere else, and trusting someone to inspect their home. Mm-hmm. And I did that. I trusted someone else. And then when I moved in, I found a number of... Um, it's one thing to miss a few little tiny things, but to miss that you had live and tube electrical in your home that wasn't acknowledged, and little things, you know, that. that I they, all started add, looking, they all add up, all these little things that were missed, I'm sure. Yeah, so, so I found out that there's a certification and a whole process on the mainland for this. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, a, it's a real profession. And so um, that was in 2004 mm-hmm. and looked into it, got certified, got insured. Um, I still work for a full-time uh, construction company, but uh, my wife and I love doing this, and we, we look like we're we, – our attitude is that we're helping people – get into their new home. Now the, um, now, the construction company that you that you work for, actually, they have a show on KHVH as well, right? The, the that's, whole... that's correct, yeah, with Rick Hamada yeah. and Jim Bixby, the owner. Yeah. And I think that you're, you, you've come on as a guest, too, just talking about, you know, basic construction um, tips and, and tricks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I get to the opportunity to come on at probably about once a month. Mm-hmm. And, um, again, my job... Um, with that company is really helping people um, find out what they're needing to do in their remodeling or building a new home. Mm-hmm. Um, just, I have a, a, with the National Association of Home Builders, I have a certified green professional ranking mm-hmm. um, and also um, it's called CAPS, um, Certified Aging in Place. And so all these things really help, um, especially when you're having a home inspection some people are thinking about maybe a, a small remodel or an addition, and or if they're aging in place, they'd like some tips, and and I, they seem to come out of my mouth if they if they ask the right question. I don't go searching out to give construction consulting at a home inspection, but uh, it, it all ties together very well. Yeah, I think the underlying what we're trying to give have the listeners have an understanding of is that your background and or. Your foundation of your knowledge uh, plays a critical role in your ability to do a competent home inspection. 
Yeah, and also to articulate uh, the growth of the industry. Um, a lot of people from, like, when I started construction in the mid-'70s, um, the, the growth and the change of engineered wood um, and just composite products um, over time, a lot of people, if they go to hearsay, they don't have truth and knowledge. And so it's really fun to share just that information. And being involved daily, I get to share why and what and protect people. Yeah. So um, we got some questions. Yeah, so we have a few questions for you just you know, pertaining to specifically to home inspections. Why do you think it's important for a consumer to get a home inspection, whether it's new construction or uh, residential resale, either case? There's, there's a minimum of, of 200 items that are inspected, and um, being a professional home inspector, you, well, one, you should be schooled and certified, and you know what to look for, and so you're just helping save time. It's a consolidated time. You're in a home two, six hours, but you can really dial in and, and crawl around, look over the roof, look over the attic. Um, the sewer system, you cannot see inside, but you can run water. And we check out the electrical system pretty darn thoroughly. And looking for safety issues mainly, mm -hmm. um, not, not really the cosmetic things, but it helps to introduce people if there's a chip or a bump to that stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So like, so when you're done with your, your full inspection, what happens next? How do you... Well, you know, for us, we, at the end of the inspection, we usually do a complete walkthrough with the client and their representative. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're giving them a summary, a verbal summary of your checklist of what you've gone through. And then for us, we actually have a customized report that's made for Hawaii. And we take all of our notes and... And so we took a lot of photographs, you know, for each home inspection. And then we put those notes and captions all in one report. And it really helps summarize and key points. Uh, and then we give that to the client, and they can review it with their agent if there's anything. And then they're always welcome to call us back and follow up. But it's having that reference. And sometimes it's not so much even finding anything wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just letting knowledge be known, like where's my water meter, where's my shutoff valve, things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like almost it's, like you're giving them an introduction to their house. Yeah, that's the way I approach it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, my job's not just to go find a bunch of things that are wrong. Mm -hmm. It's find a bunch of things that are right also. Um, yeah, you're educating. And help, help them with their home. You're educating the homeowner about that home that they're going to be potentially the owners of. The, the, you know, when you said customized for Hawaii, I was thinking, okay, you take a big lau lau leaf and then you, you <laughs> take poi and you write on with dried poi on it. But, that's it. But that's not, I don't think that was it. So now what do you mean by customized for Hawaii? Well, there's a lot of um, software and inspection reports um, made in the, on the mainland. Mm -hmm. for, uh, and so when you purchase those or buy those, they, they talk about basements and cooling systems or heating systems or fireplaces. Yeah. And and so um, what's great is there's no mention in those about single wall construction. Uh, <laughs> things, things that are special here, Canic, yeah. a lot of people don't know our special product are some old homes when there was a sugar industry have a ceiling. And sometimes I've seen it on walls, um, a byproduct of the sugar cane. Mm -hmm. And so... We actually get to go through that process and find those things and help educate the client with that. So we, we I have to give 100% credit to my wife on that because she's yeah. done a lot of research. Um, Tony's great. <laughs> you know, just a lot of knowledge and put, putting it to our custom report. So that, that's the other thing, don't, like you and Tony, you guys go together to the home inspections typically, and one is, you know, working um, – one spot and the other one is just taking notes? Is that how? Well, yeah, mostly we're working together and, mm -hmm. and bouncing things off. And as you know, um, and there's been studies done on this, um, working as a team or having multiple eyes looking at things um, from a different perspective, um, we, we get to 
you know, see things and, and they'll say, oh, look at over here, look at over here. And, mm-hmm. and she's writing notes constantly. And again, the photographs um, were both, sometimes we, we laugh because we just literally have hundreds and hundreds of photographs to, mm-hmm. to go through. And, it's, and you cannot give all 200 photographs to a client. That, that, those reports are overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Um, but to get the key points, but also um, we've had those photographs on record to if someone called back a month and a half later say, hey, you know, I was wondering if, and then you, you can go back and it's a little history page mm-hmm. um, so you can help them out. So, yeah, I think that that's important, like, that you work together as a team. I agree that, you know, two heads looking at the same house and looking for different areas of concern you're going to probably catch catch more than just the one if you're there by your by yourself yeah, and yeah you, it, go ahead no i was gonna say even if you're you kind of looking for something you might might not spot you it i mean it. i was supposed to meet my wife somewhere and pick her up and then i was looking at her car and I actually drove by her she was i was looking to the left at her car she was on the right in a big bright red dress drove right by her because i was looking somewhere else <laughs> if i had somebody in the car helping me look for my wife i would have <laughs> spotted her and not driven no <laughs> Uh, you're right. So it's it's really, um, and we. I mean, I don't I can't market it, but I believe there's a perspective um, from a male and female's perspective. Sure. I mean, a lot of mine comes from um, working for myself since 1985 in the service industry and also the construction industry. And so you learn how to verbalize um, different situations and and collaborate each other's ideas and the best way for the consumer to understand what you're trying to get across to them. Um, I, I think it's, you're in the same industry, you know, you're in the service industry, just a different yeah. field. And uh, I, I think that's what I've enjoyed um, teaming up with Team Lally is uh, the professionalism um, and the follow-up uh, working. And also you work with a lot of veterans. Yeah. I think I like the the fact that you guys, uh, you know, can get real easy into a lot of heavy construction speak, which mm-hmm. kind of goes over the head of the average homeowner. But I like the fact that you guys can kind of slow that down and explain it to them. We, we, I mean, one of the questions we asked before we started working with you is, you know, how, we, how do you feel about your bedside manner? Because right. uh, I think that's important. Yeah, and I think that's also, um, you know, I we actually both review the report or review each other's writings mm-hmm. and that's important in writing an email to a letter to make sure someone can read what you're saying yeah um, and so you have to bring it back um, to a layman's term um, what's understandable in the simplest way yeah, so. all right I, so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna take a real quick break okay but when we come back we have some more questions for you excellent so, uh, thank you so just hang tight all right, and then uh, one of those questions will be about maybe about solar. Perfect. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Hang in there. Th- yeah. Hi, it's Colin Coward. You've heard me say losers make excuses, and champions find a way to win every time. Need to sell your home right here in Honolulu? You've got real estate agents who operate in a whole different league. My friends, Adrian Lolly and Attilio Leonardi of Team Lolly Keller Williams. Those guys make the selling process look easy because they sell 27 times more homes than the average agent and spend thousands of marketing dollars attracting hundreds of buyers. Because of that, Adrian and Attilio guarantee that if they can't sell your home at a price and deadline you agree to, they'll buy your home. They'll buy yours, no risk. And if at any point you're not happy, they'll let you fire them and you're free to go. But that's not going to happen. There's only one phone call I would make. It would be to Adrian Lolly and Attilio Leonardi. Write the number down, 799-9596. 799-9596. Or online at GuaranteedSale.com. That's GuaranteedSale.com. Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. To sell your home on time for the most money, you need a sharp agent with a marketing strategy that creates the most demand. Bottom line? You need a partner willing to put their own money on the line for you. In Hawaii, I would hire Adrian Lolly and Antilio Leonardi. Their marketing strategy is so effective that if your home doesn't sell on terms you agree to, Team Lolly will buy it. Partner with the team I trust. 
Go online or call and get your home sold. Hawaii is one of the most beautiful places to live with our gorgeous weather and perfect tropical climate. It's the ultimate paradise. However, pests love living here just as much as we do. Pests like cockroaches, termites, ants, and even rodents thrive within our very own homes. Keeping them out is important for the safety of your family as well as the structural integrity of your home. Let Kamaina Termite and Pest Control keep your home clear of these unwanted pests. They offer smart, reasonable, and effective programs for your property. With more than 30 years of experience, let the Kamaina team protect your investment. Call them today for a free estimate at 591-9997. Again, that's 591-9997. One of the things we recommend to get the most value in regards to getting your home ready for sale is a professional cleaning, and the cleaning company we recommend is Spots Cleaning and Maintenance. Give Flo a call at 383-5843. They are licensed and insured and can do residential and commercial cleaning. Look, folks, I'm a certified clean freak. Just ask my beautiful wife, Regina. This is the only company I trust to clean my own properties. Party people! Welcome back, and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian, And I'm Atilio. And today we're talking about home inspections. We have Kim Green from TK Green LLC, home inspections here on the line with us. And um, we were hey. just talking about the importance of home inspections. Kim, you know, I know questions are piling up on the listener side. What's, right? a, good, what's a good phone number and or website to check out? Um. Phone number is 590-7644, mm-hmm. and the uh, website um, tkgreenllc.com. So that's uh, 590-7644? Yeah. 590-7644. Great. Yeah, give us a call anytime we can help answer questions. All right. So if someone's buying a home mm-hmm. and it has solar panels on it, what uh, I mean, what, what do you? How does that appear on your report? What do you guys look at or talk to them about? Well, you know, that's an interesting question because that's um, in the insur- uh, insurance world, which comes into all of our lives in some yep. way. Um, yep. That's a specialty product, and a lot of people, um, they just they don't know what they're really inspecting, and they just look at it yep. and say, "Here's a panel," and so. I, my experience is um, I, I've designed photovoltaic systems with that my green certification and uh, been to one of the most efficient, um, well, there's a, Sun Power is the most efficient panel in the world, and I've uh-huh. been to that plant. And, and also just knowing solar water um, and my history of construction. So we, we basically, you know, you're up on the roof and you see the panels and you're following Solar water is simple. There's no science to it. It's, uh, you're pumping water up there and down to a large tank. And so you're just checking out to see if the valves are working, if the, you know, the pump's working, and then you, you want to look at the tank. Um, lots of times the piping and the connections up on the roof are the most important in mm-hmm. my eyes. Yeah. Um, the, pump, the pump is easy, um, but those panels connected to the roof um, or it's a, that whole anytime someone's making a connection to your roof is re- really important. And and then as far as the photovoltaic, um, I can answer a lot of questions. That could be a whole subject one day. Yeah. Um, but really, the idea is to make sure that they're operating to find out from the seller who installed. Is there a warranty? Um, what the uh, productions are, and it's really important now there's a lot of leasing out mm-hmm. there or power yeah. purchase agreements, and you want to find out, you know, for the homeowner, you know, what is it that, that they're purchasing with that home. And so, and there's, there's so many different efficiencies and qualities out there, and, um, but really the roof penetration to me is the most important. Sure. Uh, and so the production part, most all panels are very good. Mm-hmm. Just some are better than others. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think when the, for you as a buyer, what you need to little thing you need to know is on the home uh, the uh, seller's disclosure. 
which all homeowners are required to by Hawaii law to to dis, to fill out and complete and hand over to the buyer. It actually talks about their last three electric bills if the seller if was owner occupied. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we That's did. Great. Yeah, we did have a seller come in two days ago. They got a lease situation, and so they weren't actually even sure what they have. So he said, "We need more details on that to present to your potential buyers." Kind of buyers. a scary, a scary lease situation. Yeah, it was kind of wacky. So really, for anybody thinking about going with the lease route, pre- please read it's the vet, fine print yeah, and vet it out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really important because um, there's um, a couple primary, you know, companies on the mainland. Yeah. Um, um, Sunrun and Solar City are the prime companies. Um, there is definitely a company here um, that become very popular, and um, so it, it's interesting. They're, they're not a local company; it's a mainland yeah. company as well. But there, there are definitely you want to be able to have access to that contract and that agreement. Yeah. But most all are transferable. Um, but again, you want to talk to that customer service of that company. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so Kim, with this industry, this home inspection industry not being regulated here in Hawaii, what kind of credentials should the consumers be looking for when looking to hire a home inspector? Well, may- mainly you want to have, um, I mean, a lot of people aren't certified, and, and actually a lot of people don't have construction industry knowledge, mm-hmm. but you really do want to make sure someone's at least certified, at the minimum, that they have general liability insurance and they have um, some affiliation with one of the associations. You know, there are different home inspector associations, and I'm not um, ever going to jump on the boat that one association is better or worse than another. Mm-hmm. The fact that the fact that you're a member of an association means that you have some ethics involved and you're you're doing it. And then just comparing one home inspector to another, it's really the ability of finding out someone that's going to give you the information to the best way that you can understand it. Mm-hmm. And I don't, you know, again, there's there's so many associations I probably get at least 15 to 20 blog reports a day um, from, I'm a member or on, in the website of at least six different, you know, I, I guess you'd call them blogs, you know, yeah. but it's just different organizations of home inspectors talking to each other, asking questions. Once in a while, someone will, you know, see something they haven't seen and, I mean, and that, that happens. I mean, and what a great resource to go reach out to fellow inspectors across the country, show them a picture. And, and it's really, you can do it with your phone on, on site sometimes and get an answer from mm-hmm. someone across the country immediately. Um, it's a great service having, um, being part of different organizations. So the, the other thing, too, I know you mentioned certifications, but there's also the uh, the insurance aspect of uh, your business. So if there's something that's missed unintentionally and it's you know could be an a expensive cost for the consumer, what kind of protection do you have for well, that? Well, you don't really um, – the idea is, you know, that um, for, the, for the actual consumer, I mean, there is insurance that – you're, it's mostly like if there's an accident while you're on someone else's property. If you were to miss something, um, you know, I, I guess that this has to be discussed. I mean, there is errors and omission insurance that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, but the goal, <laughs> I, you actually mentioned it on a, one of your um, advertisements or commercials. I mean, that goal is to not ever use your insurance. Yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and, and so, again, you have it there for the situation that is unimaginable, um, and you hope you never use it. I've never used it. Um, I have no intention of using it. Mm-hmm. And yet, uh, we actually have to report every, every home inspection uh, yeah. to the insurance company, you know, for record. I think what's... Uh, important for the consumers listening in too, especially if you're a seller, you're thinking, oh, you know, and typically the buyer pays for the home inspection, but I look at it from the seller standpoint, when a buyer 
pays for and gets a home inspection that alleviates a lot of risk management on your part as a seller because they're doing their due diligence. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's and it's just trying to um, do a little discovery. I mean, you, you're just again, like I said, you 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 probably have a home inspection, even if it's the actual physical home inspection takes two to three hours. You you have another two to three hours of the report, mm-hmm. and and also just um, I I go online and I do a little research uh, um, before I go to the homes. I try to see, especially if it's old old home, um, to see if there's been permits or anything added over the years. You just want to make sure everybody's collaborating together. Yep, that's important to to be prepared. Yeah. So, um, so, so, Kim, we're going to have to um, finish this up here. We have okay, and let you enjoy your weekend. Yeah, yeah. Thank you All right. So well, much. thank you very much, and uh, have a great weekend, and keep up the professionalism. Yes, you, thank you, Kim. You too. All right. Thank All you right. for calling. Aloha. All right, so that was Kim Green with TK Green LLC. Uh, him and his wife, very professional home inspectors. We highly recommend them. Uh, the phone number you can reach them at is 590-7644. What's that number again? 590-7644. And then you can reach them at tkgreenllc.com. Speaking of talent, we're always looking for talent. If you're looking to get into the business of real estate or know someone who who is, who is i got to write that better. What oh, the? Who is? Yes. Oh, wait. No, it's supposed to be a pause there. So I go, if you know someone who is... Have them send an email to info at teamlale.com. We are always looking for talent. All right, so speaking of talents, we have Duke Kim Han from Keller Williams Honolulu Property Management on the line. To With the sh- property management tip of the week. Oh, you guys are so kind. <laughs> um, yeah, so tip of the week is look into home warranties as a way to protect your investment when renting out your house. Okay, so tell us more about how, how do these home warranties work, Duke? There's, there's various types of plans at all various costs, uh-huh. um, and some of them do include water heater, air conditioning, pool service, some don't. Mm-hmm. So for the most part, the home warranty company will guarantee a service call price mm-hmm. for any uh, appliance, electrical, plumbing, or anything that you sign up for uh, once the the problem has been reported. Now, my understanding is that the home warranty companies, I mean, they're great, but they're only as good as their vendors that they have in your area. Um, Absolutely. Have you found that to be the case? Um, Well, a lot of the home warranty companies contract big vendors Mm -hmm. who are local service providers in the area. Yeah. And once you report the home warranty problem, let's just say your oven stops working uh, the home warranty company will contact the vendor locally to contact you to make a service call yep. at, at a contracted price. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then so, I, I, pretty simple. Yeah, I think one of the things you got to make sure with the vendor is that they know there's the, a different kind of coverages for the rent, rent tenant occupied versus the owner occupied. Absolutely, there's yeah. different prices for okay. that. Make sure you get so, the right one. <laughs> you know, a lot of times if you have a central AC or something like that, yeah, um, I've had an experience personally where the home warranty company went out couldn't fix my uh, central air conditioner, and they had to replace it. Yep. So uh-huh. that is all in your home warranty guarantee. Mm-hmm. Uh, read up on that. you got to do some homework. There's a lot of companies online that you can sign up. And for the most part, they all work pretty much the same. And your property manager can um, administer the service part of it for you. Yeah, you know, we, we, we call that the, the warranty dance. You know, if the thing broke, then you get the guy come out, and then they tell you, oh, we're going to replace it. Then you're, like, jumping around your living room. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's covered. Yes. Yeah, and, and you know, it's never the, the phone call you want to make or yep. get when your property manager says that you have a problem in your house. Yeah. So a home warranty just helps you control costs year to year when you have a long-term rental uh, going on. So these um, do, these service calls, what are like? What do they typically typically cost? Is it like fifty dollars, eighty dollars? What's what, what could be expected for? Um, I've seen them range in Hawaii from fifty five dollars to eighty five dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you get a weekend call on a plumbing stop, uh, you got a drain that stopped up or backing up, you're looking at a minimum of one ninety nine service call on a weekend. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that's just for them to drive out to the house and then they'll tell you what's wrong. 
Mm-hmm. And if there's any additional costs, it's over and above the 199. Yeah. But still, at least you can, you know, plan and budget for these these visits. There'll be a lot less than if you have to pay for it all on your own. You know, and speaking of that, you got to be timely on that because we I know water leaks was a big thing that you've been getting hammered with and we're so thankful and I'm sure those owners are that you're on it because we did have a client call us the other day. You you're not the one managing their property, but um, they're actually getting, it's a condo, they're getting sued. I think it happened over yeah. a year ago. They're getting yeah. sued by the neighbor below and I think because of a water leak. It's over, I don't know, it's close to $10,000 because there's money that wasn't covered in the insurance. And then she uh, had all this emotional Emotional stress. distress. Emotional distress. So well, it's a mess. Water, yeah, water is such a big adversary to a property manager and to an owner. Yeah. Because water leaking down to the other unit just to give you a little coverage story, um, is two coverages. Yeah. You have one for your unit and one for the unit below. You're going to have to have two separate incident reports filed, and it's it's just a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah. And that's why it's important to have an awesome property manager like yourself. Managing well, I know, and I know the owners were just happy that they didn't have to deal with that, and all yeah. they had to do was answer the insurance call or file the first claim. Mm-hmm. Then we were on site and on the ground trying to take care of the tenant below and the tenant above. And, and you know, there's there's just a lot of coordination that has to go in to a 24-hour period when you got water leaking out of a pipe. And, you know, and most people don't realize is that when they have somebody that's calm, cool, and collected and on it like you, that's going to uh, hopefully minimize the emotional distress From the of the neighbor below. below. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the neighbor below has a property manager, yeah. and he has an owner. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we, we've had these incidents has happened over the course of our um, property management careers and you just got to, you just got to do it and you got to do it right now. Yeah, I know Lock even, is- even the, the association can get involved because I know we had a unit where it actually sewer backed up into the unit, but it was a ground floor unit. And the reason why back, the backup point was past the unit, which was the association. Oh, yeah. So they had to do the cleanup and take care of it. Um, so there's, there's those, but good property managers on it. Yes. Yeah, plumbing is, is always a real big issue with mm-hmm. us. So, um, you know, get somebody who is a little bit more experienced in property management when you interview your property managers. And please, I mean, even if I'm the first one you interview, interview others just so you can appreciate the accessibility of me answering my call when you call 24-7 a day. Yeah. And now I, so. I, I understand that you have a, a list of interview questions that you can provide. One of them is, uh, do you have a guaranteed rent program? <laughs> yes. <right. laughs> We're the only ones that I know of in Hawaii that have a rent guarantee on their properties. And people call me all the time and say, What's that I mean? need you to come out to my house and give me a rent guarantee price. Mm-hmm. I just had one this morning, and that's why I'm kind of late calling in. No that's problem. Okay. So we, were, we, were, uh, we had a guy call up and say, hey, I'm, I'm a realtor, and I own my house, and I want to rent it out. But I saw you have a rent guarantee. So we went to the house, and... Um, you know, of course, we're not going to rent guaranteed at the top of the market, but we will give you a rent guarantee that's in the market mm-hmm. price for your house. Yeah. It's got to be reasonable. It's got to, you yep. got to agree. If we don't rent it in 30 days, we pay you the rent. Pay you the rent. That's how confident you are about your property valuations of these rentals. And people are saying, man, I wish I knew how to get a hold of you. Four four five nine two two three. All right. That's four four five nine two two three. And then you guys have a great website, KW... KWHIPM.com, Keller Williams Property Management, Hawaii.com. Yeah, all right, KWHIPM.com. All right. Absolutely. Well, Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks Duke. Duke. Have a great all weekend. All right. Uh-huh. Have a good weekend. Yep. Bye-bye. All right. all right, so I think we have Cherie on the line um, calling in about her open house this weekend. No, good morning, guys. Good, good morning. morning, Cherie. we got to tell you, you know, in the studio, we always have the producer. He always puts the interesting name up on the screen. Shirley. <laughs> Cherie, your name is Sure. Sure. <laughs> Ray. Sure. Sure, like S-U-R-E dash R-E. Oh, boy. That's a, I think, so creative. I think that should be your rapper sweet. name. Sh- there sure, you go. Sure, <laughs> Ray. Sure, Ray. All right. She's funny. So well, where are you guys, at today? I'm going to be out in YPO Gentry today uh-huh. at a single-family detached home, mm-hmm. four bedroom, two baths, uh, pretty spacious, almost 1,500 square feet, uh, move-in ready. Uh, there's stainless steel appliances, laminate and tile flooring, uh, great natural light. So I'll be out there today 
uh, 2 to 4 p.m. All right. And this is the one that's right by the school, right? Correct. It's by schools or shopping, parks, um, really centrally located in that area. Okay. All right. So so go visit Cherie. She'll look out for the, the Team Lally open house signs and mm-hmm. go pay her a visit. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. All right, so now we have uh, Lydia. Lydia, are you there? And Lydia yes. is Lydia is spelled L I D dash D E dash. Oh wow! Yeah. Lydia. Now there's a creative spelling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So Lydia, where are you going to be at? Okay, so I will be at two places this weekend. Today I will be at Spinnaker, which is ninety one dash two zero five three Kaioli Street, Unit three eight zero three. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a great three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,100 square feet, great property, a uh, really nice complex, uh, just really pleasant. So I'll be there and look for the signs on Kapolei Parkway. Okay. And then tomorrow, between two and five, I will be at Alele Street in Upper Makakilo, which is 92-7049 Alele. And just look for our signs, but I'll be inside the gate of Seascape and take a quick left and I'll be right there. And that's uh, an incredible value at 455 for a three bedroom, two and a half uh, bath, yeah, yeah, short sell. Typically those so. homes in that neighborhood are in the high fives. And by the way, we, we have another one that is coming soon. So make sure when you go visit Lydia tomorrow, you can uh, talk to her more about those coming soon properties out there at Seascape. Yes. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Lydia. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, so next we have Kelee. 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 Hey. Hello. We have an interesting spelling. You got to put you. that snicker bar down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be sitting at the YPL Gentry property. Okay. So, anybody who is unable to make it on Saturday while Cherie is there, I'll be there from Sunday from 2 to 5 p.m. Uh huh. Um, aside from what you both are saying, it, it has a great open floor plan, which allow for a great family space. It's not only close to the schools, it's also very close to the shopping center and right across the way from the YPO Gentry Park, a very okay. beautiful park. Yeah. And then, and you're going to be there 2 to 5. What is the address and the price of this property, Kaylee? The address of this property is 94 1086 Kepa Kepa Street, Wapahu, uh-huh. and it's listed at $599,000. All right. Oh. We encourage everyone to please come and visit. All right. Now, Kelly is a young man, so he'll be having a kegger there with poo-poos. And... No, 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 no. no. It's not, no. no party. He just he'll The party's in his mind, <laughs> so he'll be happy to see you so we can talk <laughs> with somebody. So go visit Kelly over there. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. All right. And do we have Abby still on the line, or did she, did she drop off? She dropped off. All right. So call back in, Abby, if. If you can, we'll we'll let you talk about your open house. I'm not sure where she's going to be this weekend. But, but take your time. Be... You have about 30 seconds. That's true. Um, oh. What was that? That was Bill Gates. <laughs> Windows is crashing. We need to reboot. Um, all right. So do you know we have a book? Really? If you would like to receive a free book called The Honolulu Real Estate Guide, written by yours truly, Atilio Leonardi. And Adrian Lally. Just send us an email to info at teamlally.com or... You can go to our website at teamlally.com. And, and what are they going to do? They're going to click on get the book button. Get the book button. I don't You know, we actually know we just changed our we just changed our website. We did. So go check it out. It's you awesome. Know what? It's a new site. And just we're going to add to get the book. Just send us an email. Send the email. Info at teamlally.com. Just write free book. Free book. We but got you got to give us your name, phone number, address. That's right. We'll send it out. And what else? And what else? We're always looking for talent. We are always looking for talent. So if you're interested in joining a top producing real estate team, uh, send us an email, info at teamlally.com. Uh, what we're going to do is have you come into the office and we're going to throw water balloons at you. No. Do an ice bucket challenge <laughs> and then put a pie in your face. And if you can withstand all of that and remain having a positive attitude, then we'll take you to the next step in the interview process, which will be... Um, filling a pillowcase with 
So bars of soap okay, and beating you, just, you with you it? No, no. All right, Help so me off already. It's the end of the show. You're done. So thanks for listening, and thank you to our sponsors. Dennis Kehu with Hawaii Escrow and Title. Gabe Ame and Jim Owens of Hawaii VA Loans. Mike Matz with Kamana Termite and Pest Control. Bradley Maruyama from Allstate Insurance. Marcelo Teixeira with Spots Cleaning and Maintenance. Elaine Strickland of Fidelity National Title. Jody Tanga and Derek Tanga with Pacific Rim Mortgage. David Kane of Kane and Heron, the attorneys with hearts. Kim and Tony Green with TK Green Home Inspections. If you want to get a hold of any of our sponsors, just go to our website, teamlally.com. And uh, we also want to give a big thank you to Stephen, our producer here in the studio. Choo-hoo. Make sure to tune in next week. We'll have one of our awesome guests talking about something that will change your life forever. This is the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the guaranteed Soul Program. If you can't sell your home at the agreed-upon price and their time frame, we'll have it bought for cash. Thanks and aloha!